Écoutez, à midi. Quelle heure est-il Il est midi. C'est l'heure de déjeuner. Qu'est-ce qu'il y a à manger Des saucisses. Écoutez et répétez. À midi. À midi. Hi, good morning. Um, I'm just going to take a minute to share the link while I wait for people to arrive. So, just uh, you can watch me doing some admin now. The most exciting bit of the workshop. How is everyone today? Well, no one's here yet. I'll, I'll wait. I'll be patient. Anyone enjoying the uh, cooler weather? I am, I'm enjoying the cooler weather. Oh, this is weird, I've got one watcher now and it's me watching myself, that is weird, right? Oh, and now there's a couple more. Oh, hi guys, hi, hi Emma, oh. Glad some other people are here and it's not just me talking to myself. Just sharing the link. It's just uh, giving me the photo of me sharing the link and it's really attractive face. I'm like this. So um, that will really entice people to watch it. Yeah, I know we really need some rain, didn't we? I mean, I would be happy with just like one day of rain and then maybe it could go back to being sunny, but Vegas can't be choosers, though. It's nice and cool. Just gonna share it one more time and then we'll get started. We've got quite a lot to cover today. I'm excited to share it with you. Right, okay. Link is shared. Let's put the computer out of the way. Start off with the competition. So the competition was for these Posca pens this week. And I'm just going to pick out a name. I've got all my names here. Morning guys, morning everyone. Right, here we go, here is a name. And the name I have picked is, oh my gosh, I don't believe it. It's Gemma B. Gemma, you have like, you, you just keep, I don't know, my hat, I don't know how you keep winning stuff, but Gemma has won the pens. So congratulations, Gemma. I'll message you. She has just, just so lucky, such a lucky person. So today we're doing mosaic stained glass and I wanted to start off by showing you one of my favorite bits of mosaic stained glass. It wasn't actually made by me, it was made by another artist whose page I will share with you. Um, if you wanna have a look at some beautiful mosaic stained glass, I mean, look at that, look how gorgeous that is. Her work is so amazing, so professional. Um, check out her work. It's Babab Tree Mosaics, and I will share a link to her work in the comments on this video. So please do have a look at her work. It's really gorgeous and inspiring. Um, what we're doing today, we're gonna to do a couple of things. So if you want a kit, we're gonna make something like this. If you didn't win a kit, all you need is some plastic tubs, like these ones, some paint, some glue, and we'll be making a mosaic using them, which will also look great. Uh, you can also use like glass. These are just out of like little picture frames. Um, but if you're using glass, you kind of need the proper cutting tools and it's a bit more involved and definitely a little bit more risky for your fingers. So please don't try glass if you're working with uh, kids or, or um, are worried about slicing your fingers open. Okay, let's get started. Um. Oh, actually, while well, I've got you all here, I just should tell you, uh, we've got another competition on, on our Facebook page, so you can win one of these kits. Well, we're giving away three, actually, and it's to make one of these little woven rainbows. 
And we've got the workshop coming up for that in two weeks. So enter that competition this week to win a kit to make one of these rainbows. So that's available now. Next week, we're doing printing, which will be really fun. Really looking forward to that. Right, let's get started. So, if you're using a kit, if you won the kit, you've got these little plastic tiles, which are really great to use. They look like little bits of stained glass, but are obviously very safe on the fingers. You've also got, you can also use these like more traditional mosaic tiles. They are also, they're made of glass actually, but they don't let so much light through. So just be aware of that when using them in your design. Um, using these little mosaic tiles, if you look at them, they've got a bumpy side with like ridges on and they've got a flat side and you want to glue them onto your, onto your board, um, bumpy side down, flat side is the top. Morning Lisa. Um, so the bumpy side is glued down. Because it seems, when you look at them, you'll want to glue, glue it flat side down. It just seems to make more sense. But, um, but yeah, bumpy side down all the time. Right, sorry, I keep getting distracted by the comments, but I'm going to not anymore. I'm going to just get started. So, if you're working with your plastic pot, what you're going to start off by doing is getting some paint. Now, I've had a little experiment with different paints. Glass paint is the best. If you've got glass paint, use glass paint. If you, you don't need to mix glass paint with anything, just use it on its own. But if you have acrylic paint, acrylic paint's really good. So, that one was black, so it's a bit boring. Oh, wait, I did sort that somewhere earlier. Um, I've already done this, so you will need to just squeeze some of your paint Oh, it's entirely dried up. Let me find another tube of acrylic paint. Just bear with me. Here we go. I've got some yellow. So, here we are. Just squeeze some of your acrylic paint into your tub. Add a little dollop of PVA glue, about half and half. Mix them together and just paint it on. Try and paint it on nice and thick so that you get a nice even color and not too many brush marks. And that's how you create the color for your stained glass. So you can paint as many different colors onto your plastic as you want. And then if you're doing this, if you're starting off with me now, you're just gonna have to leave it all to dry and finish your mosaic later. So. Um, that will take a while, but I'm going to show you how to do it all now in this video. These are some I did earlier. That's my uh, blue Peter moment. So these are all ones I've painted with different colours. And it's great working with the plastic because all you need is a pair of scissors to cut up your plastic for your stained glass. So you've got like just coloured bits of plastic. And I'm going to start off by cutting up my base shape. I'm going to go for a nice, I'm going to take the oval out of the middle of this pot lid. Mm. This is kind of splitting up as I cut it. It's not ideal. What I might do is once I've cut it out, just go around the edges again. Yeah, that's better. Now it's not cracking. Okay, so cutting out a nice oval shape, like that. I'm going to start off by cutting my, my painted plastic into small mosaic tiles. I don't know if you noticed by my colour scheme, but once again, I'm going for rainbow colours. It's a nice, easy place to fall back for me, doing a bit of a rainbow. Makes me happy. You want to put them painty side down, so the painty layer 
will be glued directly onto your plastic. So this is where you're going to get your PVA glue again. And as you start to cut up your plastic tiles into the shapes you want them to be, you're just going to use your PVA glue to attach them like that. So just make sure you can see there that I've put on a bit too much. You want to put on a nice decent amount of PVA glue, but if it starts to squidge out the edges, just wipe it away because otherwise it will dry and you'll end up with lumps of PVA glue everywhere. So there we go. There's my top bit of mosaic. So if you're just joining us and you're using the plastic tubs to make your mosaic, you're going to mix some paint with some PVA glue and colour in bits of your tub to create painted plastic tub bits like this, which you're then going to get to this stage that I'm at now, where you're cutting them up and gluing it to another bit of plastic. So this is the easiest, most straightforward way to do it at home. You don't need many tools and you can get some really lovely effects. I'm going to work through doing it with in some other materials as well. I really like, you know, thinking of all the different ways you can um, achieve a similar kind of crafting effect. Ways where you don't need so many tools and materials. You can work with what you might already have. I think it's really nice for everyone to be able to get involved, even if you don't have much money and you can just do what you can with what you've got. That's my hope anyway. There are kits available for this, like a lot of our other live videos. So I'll post a link to them if you're interested, but you definitely don't need a kit. You can definitely do it with stuff you've got at home. So you see, there we go. I've got my, my red and my orange and I'm working my way down. And you're doing it, so you're gluing the painted side down. So the side that you've painted and that's dried out is being glued down. So it's being sandwiched. So the painted layer will be protected. So when we come to grout it, that painted layer isn't going to be affected by the grout. It'll be safely sandwiched between the two bits of plastic. You can buy as well, you can buy all sorts of amazing coloured glass um, for, for um, making stained glass windows, I guess, but that is all really beautiful for doing this kind of work. You don't have to paint your own glass, you can get pre-coloured stuff. Um, and I've, I've worked using a bit of that in the past and it's just really gorgeous to work with. The mosaic sort of makes itself because the glass is so beautiful. So that is another option. Oh, I've gone a bit crazy on the orange. Move on to yellow. Thanks for joining me on this wet and, uh, wet and windy day. It's nice to have you all here. Don't forget to check out the competition on our page for the, the woven rainbow kit. They are great to make as presents. If you know someone who's expecting a baby, you could make them one as a little mobile for the nursery. Or, you know, they're just fun to make to go up in your own house as well. I think they're really nice, nice things to do. And it's a nice little project that you can do. Once you've got the hang of it, you can make them wherever you are, in front of the TV, on a long car drive. That's what I like about that kind of craft, you can take it with you. Whereas something like this is really enjoyable, but you kind of need a clear space so you can make a mess. So you see, that's my little um, 
my little plastic tub mosaic, it's coming on really nicely. Morning Teresa. Yeah, the rain is good for the plants, isn't it? They're doing so well. So that's my little plastic tub mosaic. So I'm gonna move on to showing you some other techniques. If you're getting started on that plastic tub one, just be painting on your tubs. So this is the glass obviously a little bit more dangerous and I forgot to bring a plastic bag over here and I don't want glass all over my kitchen so oh no wait I have got one hmm. more prepared than I realized so glass cutting tools these with these big wheel bits you can get them at hardware stores you get them online but these are specifically for cutting glass um they're not good for cutting like big long lines they're more for cutting like little mosaic bits so what you need, if you want to cut up these little mosaic tiles, you'll use these and you just put the tile in between the two rollers like that, put it in the bag, stop little bits going anywhere and just snap it in half, you see? So you get your two little pieces. But when you're using it on these bigger sheets, you're better off going, so I'm gonna like go take a corner off like that. Oh, wait, this glass is too thin for these. Don't worry, I've got other tools. Let me see if this glass is a bit thicker. Yeah, so you'll need a slightly thicker sheet of glass and you just put the tool on it and do it over the bag so if you get any little bits, they don't go everywhere. And there you go, I've got a little glass tile. Hard to see, aren't they? Because they are see-through. But um, I'm not going to worry about that. So I'm just going to make a few little tiles now. Now other glass cutting tools you can use, these are more specialist, so this is like a little wheel like this, this is more for doing straight lines. So if you're using one of these, you just score it, score the glass with it, so you kind of, can you see that line there? I've like drawn a line with it. And then you can use something like this to, you just line that up with a line and then it just cracks it along the line. So I'm going to try a slightly different technique with this. What I'm going to do is to get the stained glass effect, I'm going to sandwich tissue paper in between my little glass mosaic tiles and this glass, but you could also use paint on this glass. You don't have to use tissue paper. I'm just showing you a different way of doing it. So you could use your, if you're working with glass, you could use your PVA glue and acrylic paint or glass paint, even better if you've got it to make an effect. So let's get some tissue paper. So PVA glue again. So I'm gonna start off this time by creating a bit of a tissue paper mosaic on my glass. And then I'm going to add the little glass tiles on top of it. So a bit of a, a strange way of doing it, but it totally works and you get your beautiful stained glass effect. So make sure you put PVA on both layers so it goes on under the tissue paper and over the tissue paper. And work with as many colours as you want. So all of these are going to be unfinished today so I'm showing you lots of different stages of this project all at once. We've only got an hour but this might be something that you have to continue working on for a few days just you know not all the time just let it dry and then come back to it and let it dry you know. <laughs> Imagine that if I was like, yeah, this is going to take you a few days. You're going to have to work on it solidly. Probably stop watching, wouldn't you? I'd stop watching. Right, so getting my tissue paper on. I'll post photos of these finished. I know I keep saying that with stuff and I never actually do post anything finished. I'm going to post some finished pictures of the stuff I've made at these workshops. I'll do it this week. I promise. So you get to see what I've been working on. 
I've made some lovely paintings using the uh, natural paints. I'm really proud of them actually. So I'm excited to share those with you. And uh, likewise, if you've made anything you'd like to share with me, it's so nice seeing pictures of what you've made. So send me your pictures, any stained glass stuff, great. If you made any bracelets in the workshop last week, would love to see them. So nice to know that people are enjoying these workshops and doing them. Next week we're doing printing, which I'm really excited about. Uh, we're going to be using kind of like, the idea is to get a more professional print, like you might get with a, a block carving or a um, lino cut, but we're gonna try using stuff that you already have in your house, like cardboard or potatoes. Um, I'm a big fan of potato printing. I think you can achieve a lot with a potato and obviously you, again, don't need very many tools. You just need a little kitchen knife. Uh, if you've got them, some carving tools are great, but you don't need them. Um, I'll actually go on that event though and post some links to the kind of stuff that you can get if you want to be a bit more professional. So here we go, I've made a little mosaic out of tissue paper and PVA glue. I mean, it looks great already, but obviously it's just tissue paper on a piece of glass. So now I'm going to start using my little glass tiles that I broke up earlier, and I'm going to stick them down on top of the tissue paper. Now, when you're sticking down tiles for mosaic stained glass, you wanna give them a little wiggle round because you kinda of wanna make sure that that glue, that PVA glue, seals all the part of the tiles because otherwise, when you come to grout it, that grout sneaks under your tiles and spoils the effect. So, I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, can you see those? And go little glass tiles over the tissue paper. And go, I've lost them, they're so see through. And what can look really great, help give you a really professional feel to your mosaic, is if you've got a corner, just use a corner from one of your cut tiles in it. So I've got that little corner piece there. go for it and cut a few more bits off this with my weedy cutters that I've put down. There they are. So, just maybe need a little bit more glue. It's drying out quite quickly on mine. Just make sure you squish it down so the glue spreads out. The glass sticks up a little bit higher so you don't have to worry so much about the glue bulging up in the cracks because it doesn't bulge up high enough usually. If you're working with the kit, you've got a little bit of Perspex you can paint. That Perspex is a bit different, it's a bit more cracky. You don't wanna cut it with the scissors. You can use the scissors to like score it and then snap it. So that's if you're working with a kit. Um, but if you're working with a kit as well, you might want to just get going with the tiles and see what you can do with them. I love mosaic. It's like a jigsaw puzzle. I like to think of it like a jigsaw puzzle, but you can't, you know, there aren't 
wrong places for pieces. It's just, you just like, every time you put a piece down, it's in the right place. It's like a jigsaw puzzle that you can't get wrong. It's a thing of beauty. Although, I mean, if I keep rushing this one, I might, might get it wrong. But it doesn't matter. It's just to show you guys how to do it. Now these, because the glue is sealed between two layers of glass, you do have to leave it a little while to dry out. So don't maybe, maybe leave it a couple of days. Don't expect it to dry straight away. Show you what I've done in a minute. I know hard to see. Look, there we go. You can see the little glass tiles. So they're like tissue papers, like sandwiched in between. And I think I'll um, I'll leave that for now. I'll finish that off later, and I'll get on with showing you how to do it with the kit. How are we doing? We're doing all right for time. I'm just going to make sure. Accidentally. Get a bit of glass stuck in my hand on camera. That wouldn't be very fun. So, if you're working with the kit, you've got a little perspex shape like this. And I've found, I've, I've included the glass tiles and the plastic tiles, but I really like the plastic tiles effect like this. You can use PVA. PVA works great for gluing the tiles down, but it's not so transparent. You get like a bit of a kind of like a like a milky glaze to it. Um, and I found a glue like this. This is like a craft glue. You get loads, of, it's just not water soluble. You get like a Yoohoo glue, something like that works great. Nice transparent glue, it's quite sticky. Uh, but I am actually gonna use PVA today, having said that. So if you're working with mosaic tiles or little perspex tiles, whatever you've got, glass tiles, PVA works great. Use your PVA quite thick. You want to be able to see it. It's going to dry clear, but if you can see it, then you know you've got a good coverage. You know your tiles aren't going to get grout under them because it's all nicely sealed. What colour should I do this star? I've already got a rainbow star, so I might, I might do something different on this one. Hmm. Let, let me think, what should I do? Yeah, maybe, maybe purple and green. So when you're arranging your tiles, the important bit to kind of focus your energy on is making sure there's like an edge. So the edge of your tiles kind of lines up with the edge of whatever you're whatever kind of plaque you're working on. This is because the grout uh, is really tough, like in between the tiles, the grout holds on really well. But when the, t the grout's like, just like on an edge, it's much more likely to get knocked off. So really look at making sure your tiles come up to the edge. If there are bigger gaps in between the tiles, that's less of a problem. but the tiles should come up to the edges.
garden is going to feel so lovely and fresh now. Oh, I am bored of being sweaty. Sleeping's the hardest, isn't it? It's all right during the day when you're out in the sunshine or whatever, but then when you get into bed and it's just, oh, so warm. Really hard to get the room cool. And I'm being super lazy and not going and getting the fans out of the loft because, uh, because I know the loft's going to be too hot, so I don't want to go up there. <laughs> it's reasonable, isn't it? That's what I thought. One thing to look out for if you are using this kit, one thing that I have is that one of the points of the star has a little hole in it. So you want to not put a tile on top of that point because then you want to put a bit of string through it so you can hang it up. Unless you're not planning to hang it up, in which case it doesn't matter. I've been thinking of other things we could do at this workshop and I was just wondering if people would be interested in doing some basket making. Now, it takes a bit longer. We won't get it done in an hour. Might be more like a two hour session. Um, it's also something, you can use stuff from the garden or the park, but uh, you're much better off for getting proper willow. So you would have to buy, which isn't, isn't mega cheap, so it would mean you'd have to buy like more special materials. But I just wondered if people were, were interested in learning about basket making. I really enjoy a bit of basket making and I don't do it very often, but, um, but I could do it for you guys. Or if you had any other ideas of stuff that you'd be interested in doing in these sessions, do let me know because you know, I don't always, I don't always know what to do. I'm going to probably start doing some that are like, you know, maybe stuff we've already done, but like going into a bit more detail or doing it in a different style. Kind of like this is, because we've already done the mosaic one, but um, I wanted to do mosaic stained glass because it's a bit different and the effects you can get are so nice. So in a minute, I'm going to stop doing this and we'll do some grousing. Maybe I'll just keep doing this for like another 10 minutes, then we'll move on to the grousing. might do a little feedback thing so you can all let me know which your favourite workshop was, what kind of thing you'd like to do more of, if you want to do more painting or drawing or if you like doing the beading, you want to learn more about jewellery making, get a bit more into the mosaic. It's so good to know what you guys are thinking because it really helps me design workshops that I know you're going to enjoy. So I think, yeah, I'm going to do a little... What do they call it? You know, when you do like a little poll and people can vote. I think that might be a good idea. Get your opinions. Oh, that's all right, Naz. You're allowed to be late. 
we're just doing, I'm just using a little Perspex tiles and some PVA glue to make a little star. Yeah, is that decoupage? Sorry, Lisa, I'm just squinting at my phone. Yeah, decoupage is, yeah, it's just, I mean, I believe, I might be wrong, I'll do some research. It's just a fancy French name for collage. Yeah, some jewellery making. We could do, definitely do some more jewellery making. That's how all, I spend all my time. Got my own business that I sell jewellery that I make at. I mean, obviously, this is also my own business, doing craft workshops. I don't, they're, they're, they're all, um, the studio though, I'm, I'm, I'm working for the studio. I guess that's what I mean when I say my own business as opposed to this. So that's for the little Perspex tiles. Uh, now, so if you're just joining us, if you, you've got these little glass tiles, I just started off by saying you want to glue them bumpy side down, the flat side goes up. Bumpy side down, flat side up. Because that's a really easy mistake to make and it's really annoying when you come to grout it. So there we go, I've left my little point clear so I can hang it up and that's my little star that I'm going to just leave to dry. And now we're going to do a little lesson in grouting. Grouting is, well, it's kind of, it's fun if you like being messy. Let's put it that way. Grouting is messy. Um, you can use your plastic tub again here. Cut out a little spatula section. Just like a little sliver like that. Um, I've got some grout here. This is a grey black grout. So it's already got paint pigment in it. If you're working with a white grout, but you'd like it to be black so you get more of a stained glass effect, just add some acrylic paint or I think you can use poster paint, whatever really. Just some black paint goes in there. Uh, it's powder, so you're gonna add a little bit of water. You can measure these, you probably should, I never bother. So you just put in your powder and then you add a little bit of water at a time because obviously you can't take water out but you can add more water. And you want to mix it until you get kind of a, yeah, that's, that's perfect kind of a, like an icing consistency, like you might spread on a cake or kind of like a, like a cream cheese, like a spread, you know, like a nice spread that'd be good, easy to put on your sandwich. Um, that's perfect. So then you get your little star and you smear your grout onto it. You can use your little spatula, you can use your fingers if you're using the coloured grout, it's going to stain your fingers, so just be aware that your fingers are going to be a little bit black for a day or so. Um, but it does come off, just not straight away. I mean, I always get in there and get stuck in with my fingers. Uh, you can use gloves, but um, just do as much as I can with a spatula. So you're kind of scraping it back and forth and that pushes it down amongst the tiles.
So you're kind of coating it all, so it's totally disappeared, you see? Can't see any of my tiles, don't worry about that. We'll find them all in a bit. I like mosaic because it's got this lovely process to it. You kind of arrange all your tiles and you look at it when all the tiles are on and think, not sure about that. And then you grout it and it just brings it all together. Really beautiful finished effect. So now I've got my grout on over all my tiles. I just take my finger and just run it around the edge just to sort of finish off that edge, get a nice, smooth finish you also just make sure the grout goes in all the sort of little cracks down the side I'm gonna have to get up and wash my hands in a minute that'll be good for a live video oh I'm just gonna go wash my hands if you could just all sit there get some intimate <laughs> get some music on right Just using my finger now. Uh, you could use a cloth. I would use a cloth if I'd sorted one out already, but I'm gonna go wash my hands anyway, so it doesn't matter. Just using my finger to remove excess grout from the, from the, the mosaic. Now I'm using my whole hand. So the idea now, it's not to get it clean. You're not gonna be able to get it clean because it's all covered in wet grout, which is quite smudgy. But what you should be able to do is get all the big lumps of grout off. Um, so let me show you the kind of effect we've got now. Have a look at that, you see it's, it's dirty but you can see the tiles under there. You see what I mean? So now you're just gonna pop that to dry for about, about half an hour. Oh look, it looks good on the other side though, doesn't it? You can see the light shining through there. So I'm gonna pop that over there to dry for about half an hour. I'm gonna go wash my hands. Please keep working on your mosaics. Right, see, I told you it's stained. You just get like a slightly gray fingers. But it's all right, it's a weekend. Be clean by Monday, maybe. <laughs> they will, they'll be clean by Monday. So, well, I wait for that grout to dry. I'm just gonna go back to my plastic tub mosaic that I started, because I'd like to get this finished. So I was working on the yellow. Really, uh, really pleased with these plastic tub mosaics. It's the first time I've made them for this workshop. And I think it's a really nice project. It's great. You can do it with kids, um, adults, anyone can have a go. And you get like, actually what looks like quite a professional mosaic out of it. You can mix it up, try different kinds of plastic tub. Maybe you can get better ones than just these takeaway ones, bigger ones. But yeah, I think the effect's gonna look lovely. The materials were super cheap and obviously much safer to use than glass. You don't have to worry about getting any in your uh, fingers or, or anything. If you do do this video and you really enjoy it, we have got another live session where I did mosaic with tiles, so that's well worth checking out. Um, really nice session. It was the first one I did actually, so you can go back and tell me if, I, uh, if I've improved. Lovely to hear your feedback. I'd love to know if you think I've gotten better at just at talking to the camera and showing you what I'm doing. Or maybe I've gotten worse. Maybe I've gotten... Uh, relax with my nipping off to wash my hands. Let me know what you think, if you watch it. 
Or maybe you've already watched it. I don't know. don't know. Maybe you've all been here from the beginning. So again, with this mosaic, I'm just being really careful to keep like a kind of quite a, a, an edge on it. So I'm worrying, I'm thinking a lot about the tiles lining up with the edges of it. And I'm worrying less about the gaps in between. That's, as your mosaicing skills improve, you'll get it so all these gaps are perfect. One thing you do want to make sure you do is leave gaps because some people like to put the mosaic tiles really close together and it does look, it looks good when you're doing the mosaic but then when you come to grout it you don't really get the same effect, it doesn't really look like a mosaic. Yes it is a good sign when people keep coming back Lisa. I've, uh, I'm very pleased, very pleased that people keep coming back. Honestly, I don't know, don't know what it would be like doing this without you guys. Just be me talking to a camera on my own. Which is fine. I can talk to a camera on my own. It is funny though, it does make me think I don't I like how TV presenters do it. Like, it's one thing, I guess it's why you get so many shows with live studio audience, audiences, because it, it's so much easier doing something like this if you know you've got people watching. If you're just doing it and there's no one watching, I don't know how you, how you stay motivated to keep talking and I don't know how you do it. Crazy. But I suppose uh, there's not gonna be so many live studio audiences for a while, are there? So those TV presenters are just going to have to up their game. It's all right. I think they get paid enough to do that. Anyone got exciting plans for the weekend? Anything fun happening? I've got quite a lot of work to catch up on, so I think my weekend's gonna be mostly working. Oh well. I do enjoy my work though, so I suppose I can't really complain. So don't forget guys, we've got that competition. I'll show you the kit again. I'm just gonna finish off this mosaic and then I'll talk to you about everything, everything we've got going on. Last piece, woohoo. trim this one down. Nice thing about plastic ones is you can trim it down while you're gluing it. Right, so that's my little plastic tub mosaic finished. All my painted bits. So the paint side is in the down, plastic on top, plastic on the bottom, PVA glue, paint, beautiful. Like I said, Glass paint is gonna work the best, but that's just acrylic and you get a really nice effect. 
Mm, yeah, gardening. I think it's gonna rain tomorrow in Leicester. So probably won't do any gardening tomorrow. But gardening is a nice thing to do at the weekend, isn't it? So, that's your plastic tub mosaic. Got your mosaic from the kit. Tissue paper and glass mosaic. Obviously, these two, these two techniques are interchangeable. So you could use plastic tubs with tissue paper or tissue or glass with paint. So it's just two different techniques for doing it at home. Um, give them a go, see which one you prefer. Uh, you can get some great effects, but obviously only work with glass if you've got the tools for cutting it and feel safe. I don't want any injuries on my conscience. Um, you paint your plastic tubs or your glass using acrylic paint with a bit of PVA or glass paint. So as it starts to dry, you can just smooth it over. So you get a nice solid color, but it's not too bumpy. Quite satisfying this, like, um, it's like icing a cake. I keep talking about cake. I think I must want cake. Okay. Now, still just waiting for that grout to dry. Got another nine minutes left. So I'll just talk to you about what we've got coming up. Next week we're doing printing. So we're gonna get, try and get like a professional printing feel. This one is originally, I did this with a lino cut, but we're gonna try and do something that gets this kind of effect, but using potatoes, potato carving, potato stamps. Maybe I'll try those before, but you can get some great effects using them. Uh, we also might do some block printing using cardboard. Um, so just have some cardboard ready, have some potatoes, have a little kitchen knife. If you've got any carving tools, that's great. The tools you use for doing liner cutting are perfect and they're not very expensive. I'll send, I'll put a link on the event to the carving tools. So if you're interested in getting some of those, you can. Um, we're gonna try with acrylic paint, which I think should be fine for doing the printing. This one was done with uh, like an acrylic based um, printing ink. So if you've got anything like that, that's great, but not necessary. You can also use the little pads that you get for stamps. They work great, you can do loads with them. So if you've got them, let's try them. I'm gonna, again, like this workshop, try a few different things so you've got options that might work with the materials that you've already got at home. Then the week after printing, um, we are going to do the woven rainbows. Look how nice they are. So nice, right? Um, the woven rainbows, and we've got a competition at the moment. You can win a kit to make one of the rainbows. The competition, we're giving away three kits. It's on the Facebook page now. So when you finish watching this workshop, go and enter it and get a kit. The kits will also be for sale, but you also don't need a kit. You just need, all you really need is wool, a needle, some wire, and you can make it work. The kits are just if you want everything in one place, maybe you don't have the right materials, makes your life a bit easier. And obviously if you win one, that's amazing because it's always fun to win something. So do enter and next week we'll draw a winner. Okay. Shall we see if the grout's ready? The exciting bit. This is the exciting bit. Yeah, I think it's ready. So you just let it dry a bit. It's not all the way dry, but it's most of the way dry. So you get like um, and now you just kind of use a dry cloth or I'm using some tissue because it's what I had to hand. No, it's still a little bit wet, but I think we'll get, we'll get a nice enough effect that I can show you what it looks like finished. Just use a dry cloth to polish up the tiles so you get like a really, the grout was a little bit drier, these were becoming a little bit cleaner, but oh, they're doing all right. 
you might need to clean them up once or twice depending on how dry your grouse is. But there we go. See that? So that's it, grouses. My lovely rainbow star. Uh, I'm gonna have to clean the other side as well because I've obviously not been tidy enough not to get grout on that. Just seen that as I turned it over. There we are, fully grouted, rainbow mosaic. So I hope you've all enjoyed this week's session. I'm going to grout up the plastic one and the glass and tissue paper one and get some photos of those up for you to see. Um, I'm also going to put up some photos of the other work that I've done at these live sessions because I'd love to share it with you. I've just been being lazy about getting the photos taken. Um, and yeah, thanks for a great Saturday morning and I'll see you again next week to do some printing. Bye bye guys!